The intention to transition to electric vehicles over the next 10 years has been announced by nearly all major automakers. Despite some opposition from some stakeholders, manufacturers are moving toward a battery-powered future, whether it be because of regulation or innovation. Toyota is one of them, and it's planning to live in a world where hydrogen reigns supreme, in both fuel cell electric and internal combustion engine forms. Recent advancements in the automotive industry include combustion hydrogen engines. While Toyota thinks hydrogen could also be useful in combustion engines, the majority of manufacturers who are experimenting with it are doing so with fuel cell electric vehicles. The car company recently revealed a specially designed GR Yaris with a hydrogen combustion engine that it has been working on for a while. Several Tier 1 suppliers have decided to actively consider hydrogen in light of these circumstances, following Toyota's lead in order to create technology that will be cutting edge in a hydrogen future. How combustion engines may use hydrogen as fuel When it comes to road vehicles, hydrogen as a fuel faces an uphill battle. Although using hydrogen to replace unleaded fuel for the automobiles we all love is a good idea due to some obvious and unavoidable inefficiencies, it offers evident advantages in the long-range logistics and transport industries, as well as aerospace. This argument, though, is wholly predicated on the idea of a time in the future when people only drive for practical purposes. It doesn't consider the reality that some individuals buy and drive cars for purposes other than merely traveling from point A to point B. We want to feel our souls stirred, hear the deep notes of an exhaust, and ride a flowing, expanding wave of power. Electric performance automobiles, at least up to this point, have done a poor job of satisfying these aspects of feeling. Yes, electric vehicles are more than deserving of a position in our ecosystem of performance automobiles, however for the time being and for the foreseeable future, internal combustion engines will continue to dominate in terms of driver participation. But we must develop performance vehicles that are more energy efficient. If we want to appreciate the vehicle genre at all in the upcoming years, we must accept this as a given. However we can still do that and enjoy the ride. Hydrogen combustion steps into the fight in this situation by fusing environmental responsibility with traditional noise and involvement. The most intriguing hydrogen combustion engine to date is a 5.0-litre naturally aspirated V8 from Toyota and Yamaha that produces 335 kilowatt and 540 newton meter while emitting very little exhaust. The 2URGSE, which was co-developed by the two Japanese businesses and is present in the Lexus RCF Coupe, serves as the engine's foundation. Yamaha modified the cylinder heads, adjusted the intake manifolds and injectors to make the engine run on compressed hydrogen while only losing 16 kW and gained 10 Nm, in comparison to its unleaded fueled brother. Likewise the striking 8 into 1 exhaust isn't just for show, it's believed to give the car a captivating exhaust noise. The way hydrogen combustion works is very similar to how conventional unleaded engines work. Fuel is immediately pumped into the combustion chamber and ignited by a spark, resulting in the same four-stroke combustion cycle. All of it seems pretty straightforward, however Toyota claims that its progress has been anything near. In order to achieve the necessary ignition in 2016, the business had to employ a 50-50 fuel mixture of unleaded and hydrogen. Currently, test engines that are driven only by hydrogen require extremely high internal temperatures in order for the spark to catch. The main benefit in an era where emissions are being reduced is that water is the main engine byproduct. Hydrogen combustion isn't completely emission free, either. Small amounts of oil are burned in the process by using the same mechanical internals that require lubrication and igniting it in air, resulting in negligible levels of carbon particle emissions. The majority of these discharges will be captured by catalytic filters in the exhaust system, but not all of them. Another advantage is that creating and constructing hydrogen fuel cell vehicles like the Hyundai Nexo or Toyota Mirai is more expensive than engineering combustion engines to run on hydrogen. There are, however, a few important limitations. When compared to battery electric vehicles, hydrogen fuel cells already have lower well-to-wheel efficiency. For hydrogen, energy is lost during the electrolysis, compression, and transport processes. If left unattended, it will also slowly leak out of the highly compressed fuel tank, which is typically operating at a pressure of 10,000 psi. The well-to-wheel efficiency of the majority of battery electric vehicles is between 75 and 85 percent. Fuel cells perform between 30 and 35 percent poorer than hydrogen combustion, which is another 5 percent worse. Yamaha and Toyota, though, haven't created a performance engine to make efficiency claims. 
By substantially and radically reducing emissions, this proof of concept from the Masters of Internal Combustion hopes to show that niche enthusiast ICEs still have a place in a future that cares about the environment. To them, more power. Four interesting facts about using hydrogen in automobiles. A new category is born. The Automobile Club de la West, ACO, which organizes the 24 Hours of Le Mans, has declared a new category would be introduced in 2025 to allow hydrogen electric vehicles to compete in the Endurance Classic, demonstrating its support for alternative fuel sources. The formation of the band. As part of a coordinated effort to support the future of internal combustion, Yamaha, Toyota, Subaru, Mazda, and Kawasaki have joined Yamaha and Honda to form what has been dubbed Team Japan. Toyota and Yamaha are developing hydrogen combustion technology, and the other three manufacturers will compete in motorsports using biodiesel and synthetic fuel made from biomass. Set your boot in. Jim Glickenhaus has vowed to enter his boot off-road vehicle in the Baja 1000 with a hydrogen-powered variant. The American team plans to use liquid hydrogen instead of compressed hydrogen, which is the fuel used by practically all fuel cell vehicles. A single tank, according to Glickenhaus, may travel around 1,000 kilometers. Going far. Using a GR Yaris engine that had been modified to run on hydrogen, Toyota raced a Toyota Corolla in a 24-hour endurance race. During a 12-hour period, the hatchback covered 1634 kilometers. With an average stop length of 7 minutes and 35 refuelings, the crew spent 4 hours stationary. For the first eight hours of the race, the vehicle was completely stationary for maintenance and safety inspections. Hydrogen Combustion Engine Challenges Hydrogen Production Hydrogen generation can be expensive and energy-intensive, requiring processes like electrolysis or steam methane reforming. To ensure hydrogen's viability as a clean energy source, it is essential to create sustainable and affordable processes for producing hydrogen from renewable sources. Fuel Storage Due to its poor energy density per unit volume, hydrogen requires high pressures or cryogenic temperatures to be stored in order to store energy effectively. This calls for specific infrastructure and storage tanks, which can be costly to construct and maintain. For the technology of hydrogen combustion engines to be widely used, it is essential to ensure safe and effective hydrogen storage technologies. Distribution Infrastructure Compared to regular gasoline filling stations or even EV charging stations, the infrastructure for hydrogen refueling is minimal. Safety considerations. Due to its great flammability, handling, storing, and transportation of hydrogen must adhere to severe safety regulations. To minimize potential safety issues, it is essential to ensure that the production, storage, and distribution of hydrogen is done in accordance with all applicable safety standards, laws, and training programs. Cost and affordability. The cost of manufacture and infrastructure are currently obstacles for hydrogen combustion engine technology. The cost of producing and distributing hydrogen can be high, and the technology for hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines is still in its infancy. For the hydrogen combustion engine technology to be more widely used, it is imperative to achieve cost competitiveness with alternative propulsion technologies, particularly EVs. Scalability and efficiency. Because they are still in the early stages of research, hydrogen combustion engines have space for growth in terms of efficiency and scalability. The technology of hydrogen combustion engines needs to be optimized in order to obtain greater efficiency, greater range, and broader scalability for various types of vehicles. According to the World Bank, the transportation sector is one of the greatest emitters, accounting for 20% of all GHG emissions worldwide. While hydrogen combustion engine technology has the potential to significantly enhance the mobility sector, there are still some obstacles that must be solved if it is to unseat the dominance of electric vehicles. The Toyota saga is just the start. Having said that, what do you think of Toyota's hydrogen combustion engine? Let us know in the comment box below. And if you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.